Hello there! Are you wondering how you could build an elevator system in Java? This is a question that is frequently asked during coding interviews. If you are watching this video, my guess is that you are learning Java and you are looking for beginner projects so you can practice, improve and gain confidence in your programming skills. I have good news for you, you just found the right tutorial. In this tutorial, I will help you to create an elevator system application like the one that you can see here using Java. The way this elevator system works, all lifts start at the ground floor and then when you press on any of the floor buttons, the lift closer to that floor will move. If there is a lift already in that floor, then no lift will move. To build this application, we will be using Java and we will also use JavaFX to create the user interface. JavaFX is a library that makes creating desktop applications really, really easy. There are other libraries in Java to create interfaces like Swim. However, I think JavaFX is easier to use, so that's the one I will advise you to use as well. Plus, it has a very nice feature called FXML, which allows you to create interfaces using XML and also using CSS to style the application. We'll see how to do all this in a minute. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. This tutorial is going to be divided in several sections. First, we will create the JavaFX project with the necessary libraries. Then we will see how to create a class to represent the elevator system. This class will use a 2D matrix. Then we will write the code to find the lift at the minimum distance of the destination floor. Once we finish that, we will create an interface like the one that you can see here. And we will add the listeners to the buttons so when you click on a button, a lift moves. Perfect, so let's start by creating the project. To do so, we are gonna need Maven. So in case you don't know what Maven is, it's a tool that will download and manage any dependency or library using your project. So we will need to install Maven first. So, um, and there is a link in the description to download Maven and instructions about how to install it. Alright, so assuming that you have Maven installed, let's create the project. To create the project, you need to run the following command from your terminal. In here, you can change the group ID. You can also change the artifact ID. So in this case, I'm going to call the artifact name elevator system. So this will be the project name as well. So I will hit enter now and this will generate a folder structure with all the files that our JavaFX project uh, is going to need. So we have generated a project. So let's open it in our IDE, which is going to be IntelliJ. And as you can see, Maven have created the project structure and it has created a folder inside called SRC, which is going to contain our code. Perfect, so we have created the project now. Let's see how to create a class to represent the elevator system. Our system is going to have three leaves and five floors. This means to represent the elevator system, we are going to need a 2D matrix with five rows and three columns. Each matrix cell can have two states, zero meaning the space is empty, in other words, there is no lift occupying that space, or one which means there is a lift in that space. Using this matrix, we will know where the leaves are at any time. Perfect, so let's write this in Java. I will create a class called elevator state. And this class will have one field called a state, which is going to be a 2D matrix of integers. 
Now in the constructor for this class, we are gonna initialize the matrix. So the first column will be 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1. And that means the first and that means the first four spaces are empty and the last one which is the one at the ground floor is where the lift is and the same for the other two columns now someone called the lift in a floor and we need to find the lift closer to that floor to do so we are going to create a new method that I'm going to call find closest lift and this method given a floor number which will be a number between 0 and 4 will return the lift that is closer to that floor and therefore the lift that should move so since we have three different lifts it will return a number between 0 and 2 both inclusive all right so let's see how we are gonna work out the lift that should move here is our matrix at the start for each leaf we need to see where the lift is and compare that with the destination floor and then out of the three pick the one with the minimum distance for example let's say that the destination floor is four which is the last floor I will check where the first leaf is, which is floor 0, then the destination floor minus the floor where the lift is, which is 4, meaning that the leaf will have to move 4 floors to reach the destination. So we will save that as the minimum distance for now, and then I will do the same for the second leaf and the distance for the second lift is also 4 so it's not less than the first one so I will leave the first lift as the lift to move and then I will do the same for the third lift and in this case the lift with minimum distance will be number 0 because in this case I will pick the first one found with the shortest distance Perfect, so now that we understand what this method should do, let's write this in Java. So I'm going to create two variables, one to keep track of the leaf that should move, which I'm going to call leaf minimum journey with type integer, and I will initialize it as zero. Then another variable to keep track of the minimum distance found. And I will initialize it with a value that is bigger than the maximum possible distance. So since the longest distance is 4, I will use 5. Now I will loop through every column, in other words, every lift. I need to work out the position of the lift in the column. So in other words, the floor where the lift is. Uh, so to keep things simple and organized, I'm going to create another method that is going to do this and I'm going to call it find the floor where the lift is. And this will return an integer between 0 and 4, which is the number of rows. So how can we find the row where the lift is? It will be the cell which value is 1. So I will loop through every cell in the array and if the value of this cell is 1, it means we found the lift. So I will return the index of this cell. Otherwise, I will return 0, but this will never happen because there should always be a number 1 in every column. Okay, so let's go back to the initial method. So now we know the floor where the first lift is so I will work out the distance between that floor and the destination by doing the absolute value of the difference between these two floors so if this distance is less than the distance we already have we will update the minimum distance and also the lift to move 
and last I will return the leave minimum journey variable. So as we said, once a user called a lift, this method will tell us the lift that should move and will reach the destination floor with least moves. Now, once we have worked out the lift we want to move, we also should actually move the lift, in other words, updating our matrix. To do so, I'm going to create another method, which I'm going to call move lift to floor. And all this method has to do is updating the matrix. So if the lift was in the ground floor, that cell should be updated to zero and then set the destination cell with one to indicate that the lift is in that cell now. So as parameters, I have the destination floor and the selected lift which is basically the column we will update. So now I will work out again the floor where the lift is and using that I will get the cell where the lift is. So I will say a state which is the matrix then selected lift and lift current floor and I will assign zero to that cell and then the destination cell which is state then selected lift and then destination floor and I will assign one to that cell and that means we just change the floor where the lift is right so so far we have seen how to create the project and we have created the class that represents the elevator system and add all the logic to move the leaves. In the next video I will show you how to create the user interface to visualize the elevator system. Please if you have questions drop a comment below and I will do my best to answer. I hope you are enjoying this tutorial so far and I will see you in the next one.